beat makers, bedroom producers. I'm Willie T for a track, and in today's video, I take you step by step on how I created the intro to this beat series. Beats from scratch. Hey, before we get into it, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching, welcome. Go on, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Some good content on this channel. Beats from Scratch, episode 13. You already know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and get into this cook-up. Let's go. All right, let's get into this breakdown. So basically, this track is called Carnage, and uh, basically it's a um, B battle track. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, uh, I do B battles quite often, you know, and this is one of the tracks that uh, so um, before we start breaking it down, let's go ahead and um. I'm gonna play everything. cool so yeah that's that's carnage so basically with this track um well most of my uh battle beats you know i start off suspenseful you don't really know where it's going so that's what i that's what i kind of did on this track so i started off with basically this plug sound So I started off with this pluck right here. Solo that. Uh, then from there we just started layering it, you know, with this uh what is this a pulse? It's a little pulse pad, so. And I believe both of those sounds um, came from Serum. Like, most of these came from Serum, so. Yeah. Then we got another pulse pad I just um, layered. I believe one of them is a uh, a lower and then a lower octave and the other one is a higher octave on these pulse pads. And then uh, what else we got? We got the uh, reverse reverse plug. So basically this plug but ju I just reversed it in certain spots so see how that sounds yeah. just add a different feel you know different swag then um Got this whistle. Like I said, in the beginning, you don't know where it's going. 
Like you have no idea where this beat is going at all. So oh. let's just... What's going on, man? It's just like a, a western or something, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on. Then I got this uh this screen, like I said, just setting it up, you know. Just setting it up, you know, basically. So let's get into it. <laughs> So basically, I wanted like uh, it to start suspenseful or you know eerie, you know. All right, next sound in the uh, intro part. Added this little art. This little random art that I found. I think I found that in um. That are in our uh, arcade, the uh, nightmare um, pack in arcade. So I play that with whatever we got so far in the intro. So yeah, it just adds some, I guess you could say texture or just a little ear candy. Um, got this low bass part that comes in. Yeah. So basically with this bass, you know, just I wanted a feel of, you know, adding on to the suspense, but just letting you know, hey, something coming. Whatever's coming, it ain't going to be good. You know what I'm saying? So we got the kind of give you that Jaws feel like what? Yo, like something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Something coming. So then building upon that. I got these um percussion. I kind of just gave it a little bit of, of feel. So basically that's the intro, you know. Um all right, so let's get into these drums. Uh nothing too much just basically just tried to go crazy man and be battles you know the more rolls and the more you know stops and stutters that you can do with your drums you know the better so um let me go on and solo these drums so i'll start from the uh drum feel and go on all right so with this drum pattern i started with this 808 really drive the track so so you got basically this lower note going into these higher octave doo -doo -doo. it just adds some excitement you know what I'm saying coming from suspense and then you got doom do 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 just adds excitement. Like every time somebody hear that, you go get a ooh, some oohs and ahs from the crowd, you know. And that's what you want. So basically, you know, all your drums just you just find a pocket, you know. Find a pocket. So, so 
fly with the kick. Do 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 do. these these plucks then another part to accent under these plucks. Got this low brass. Like I said, just everything is just layered. It sounds cluttered, but everything just has its space. You know what I'm saying? For this little part right here, this little space that you hear. added um, just a random roar lion roar and it just fit it's just something different you know just some different random sound just something different to add so what we got next is uh so in this part we gotta go in gotta go in fast alright so let's put that in perspective with these plucks all right cool so that's that so yeah that's basically the first half of the beat so we got your intro with the suspense and then you come in with you know your drums and everything and then you take it up a notch and um yeah let's see what we got so far it up a notch now with be battle beach you know basically you know dynamics matter you know so take the uh crowd on a journey you know that's what i, I kind of like to do take you on a ride so basically we started low took you high now i'm about to take you back down again so so i like to do genre genre bending stuff so i like to switch it up with the genres you know um so basically i found this piano in arcade and uh it sets you up for a different feel so basically with this piano So 
basically, I know y'all like, yo, that really don't make no sense. But trust me, it does make sense. It's all about layers. All about layers. So, let's listen and a little bit before and then going into the uh, piano. <laughs> So, basically, it's a whole different beat, you know. You got one field, and it goes to a whole other field. So, what we got? So, we got this piano. We still got... Look. So we still have elements from the first half that I'm bringing into the second half. So basically, oh, so basically, if you can hear, I just chopped up those chords and spaced them out to accompany, you know. The craziness that this piano is doing, you know, so got that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically, with these drums, I found a drum loop and, uh, yeah, drum loop and uh just put it in there and it fit so drum loop just gave it a different feel then came back with my low bass did a different pattern with it Rest is just I brought back the uh, reverse, you know, just different elements from it. As you can see, I ain't bring back, you know, much. You know, basically the uh, classical piano is really driving the feel of this second half. Everything else is just basically accompanying it, but it throws it throws the crowd off. You know, it's like you really don't have to add that much, you know. So that's pretty much carnage, man, you know, in a nutshell, that's how I made um, the intro, um, just found a part, let me see if I can find a part where I came in, at. I think I just came in where the uh, drum fields are. Yeah, that's it so yeah but yeah that's the full beat 
that's that's carnage, you know. So that's the intro for beats from scratch. And uh man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in.